Good morning traders, Russell Sandyfoot here for your daily market update for Easy Markets. Well, the big two stories overnight, certainly the sterling was an interesting rate hike here. We were basically dribbling around the 133 handle leading into this uh, Bank of England very well telegraphed rate hike last night with a 7 to 2 vote. Uh, the bottom line though, leading into the Bank of England yesterday, we saw a dribble down lower to something like... 132.20, 25, uh, before the turmoil kicked in, which was the dovish rhetoric in the press conference, as well as the inflation outlook, really hammering the outlook for further rate hikes for the sterling. Um, in fact, commentary in the, in the region of two rate hikes for the next three years is really, really uh, not what traders that were considering long sterling were looking for. Bearing in mind the timeline there on the Brexit negotiations is uh, March 2019. So to really throw water on the idea of a uh, reasonably aggressive rate hike path, um, to throw water on that idea obviously hurt the sterling really sharply. So long story short, it collapsed two big figures from around that uh, one, call it 132. 250 to 13050 simple as that it does look a little heavy even from here so gee look out if those non-farm payroll data numbers for the US tonight are strong and I said that in this morning's analysis there uh, on the easymarkets.com today you website that if we do get that data print tonight where it is predicted uh, we'll certainly be seeing the uh, the sterling against the greenback dealing under the 130 level. There's a lot of other pairs to trade the cable against though at the moment. Like uh, a great example is the sterling CAD this week has been wild, jumping ferociously, sharply higher, you know, from around that 169 level that took off like a shot to 7150 and of course has collapsed back to 67 now. So gee, watch that one tonight as well. Guys, remember when the non-farms payroll data lands on the newswires this evening. At the same time, uh, we do get data for the Canadian employment numbers and also uh, that can sort of hold back dollar cad from ridiculous moves, but it certainly won't hold back the other Canadian crosses. So bear that in mind. Now today, in terms of the Asian session, we still have the Aussie holding firm around that 77 cent level, just above the 77 handle. Uh, I said yesterday it should get to 77.30. That was basically the high. Everybody in trading knows that's a big level. So look, today, if we get a really strong retail sales number for Australia, maybe the Aussie jolts to 77.50, but it's going to be quite, I don't expect that. I think it'll be uh, a restrained trading range today, waiting, sitting on our hands, waiting for this uh, headline jobs data out of the US. Now, the other two things, this first thing this morning when I was in early, we saw it. Donald Trump live on a very scripted press conference to nominate and announce the nomination there of Jerome Powell. He's quite dollar neutral, so don't expect um, don't expect the dollar to rally unless this non-farms payroll number tonight is plus 300. Coming back from the hurricanes last month, the U.S. really does need a bumper number there to uh, to fire up the dollar bulls, which everyone's expecting. I'm not expecting that. I'm looking to sell dollar yen for a move lower. I'm expecting the door to be wide open for a dollar disappointment. So let's check in on Monday and see how that trade went. It'll either be ridiculously right or ridiculously wrong. But unfortunately, that type of outcome is what we're faced with, with such a big consensus behind those forecasts. So as always, be a little bit nimble around the dollar, uh, any of the dollar, US dollar pairs this evening because it will be big volatility. Now, the other market which we can't ignore as well, of course, on our MetaTrader 4 platform, the Bitcoin move to 7,300 last night was wild. There was a jolt backwards to something like 6,800 with a little bit of a, a profit take uh, reversal, but that's been shrugged off by Bitcoin traders here in the news this week of CME rolling out uh, the idea of a futures product as well as an ETF potentially this year. So expect a, song, a, strolled, a, a, a strong and a solid close for Bitcoin. I think it'll close something closer to 8,000 uh, later tonight to finish off this week. 
as always, if you guys need a hand, though, just come through to the dealing desk here at, uh, at Easy Markets and we can help you.